Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. Today I'm looking at the somewhat breaking news of the Carolina Panthers trading for Sam Darnold in exchange for a second, fourth, and sixth round pick in the upcoming, I believe 2022 draft is what the, when the picks will be exchanged for. So this is kind of big news in general. This kind of confirms that Jets are definitely gonna go quarterback at number two. Before getting into the topic fully, question for those of you viewing, do you think this will jumpstart Sam Darnold's career for him to be able to prove every wrong, or do you think it will turn out to be a bust that the Jets kind of see him to be. Comment down below how Sam Darnold's career will kind of finish out or at least start with this new trade. Looking at this from all kinds of perspectives, I'm glad Sam Darnold from his perspective has got traded. He's going to a team that will probably believe in him, have a little more, a few more weapons than he did. You know, going for the Jets, he didn't have much to work with. He had Rashad Perryman and Jamison Crowder and F Frank Gore running back. And now he's gonna go to Christian McCaffrey, top three running back in the league a young DJ Moore, a proven Robbie Anderson. Still a little question mark on the head coach and Matt Rule from Baylor, but we think he could turn out to be pretty solid. Obviously, we don't know if um, Sam Darnold will be starting because of Teddy Bridgewater, but for the Panthers to go out there and trade for him, it goes to show they're gonna give him a chance. They have to be, or they would not trade for him. Pretty good deal from a value position from the Pan Panther standpoint, second, fourth, and sixth. You still have your first round pick of number eight overall to do with whatever you want with. There's speculation, who are they going to go at number eight? Are they going to go QB, Trey Lance, Justin Fields, Mac Jones? Now it's kind of confirmed they're more likely than not. I doubt they're going to have three quarterbacks on that depth chart of Mac Jones, Sam Darnold, Chevy Bridgewater. To me, at number eight, this screams either wide receiver or offensive protection. Maybe a Rashawn Slater to move around the offensive line or a receiver to make that receiving core even more stacked. Maybe a Jalen Waddle or Devontae Smith overall. Or, to be honest, now that the Panthers have their quarterback, I would not be surprised if we saw them trading back in the draft. But looking at it overall, the Jets, like I said, this confirms they are taking a quarterback at number two overall. It's looking like Trevor Lawrence. And then number two, a lot of speculation, a lot of assumption they're going with Zach Wilson. We saw the GM, head coach, Robert Sala and Joe Douglas are both at Zach Wilson's pro day. Seem to like him a lot. Yeah, there's guys out there, Justin Fields, Trey Lance, Mac Jones, but it's always seemed like Zach Wilson is the Jets guy, and this is just confirming that it def he definitely is. It's kind of weird because I heard Corey Davis, the Jets' new um, acquired wide receiver, state that he went to the Jets because he knew Sam Darnold would be the starting QB. So now that that's a question mark and no longer a thing, I'm curious how that's going to pan out and if that was kind of, you know, maybe just a bluff to make it seem like the Jets weren't going to trade him. But overall, that's kind of a side note. Jets. Didn't believe in Sam Darnold. Now they're going to restart the rookie clock. Not a bad move. Get in Zach Wilson. You still have another first-round pick. You added a couple additions, like I said, Corey Davis. You added um, Carl Lawson from the Bengals and the pass rusher. This Jets team is getting a little better. And then the Panthers, they're getting better. They're going to have a quarterback one way or another, Teddy Bridgewater or Sam Darnold. I think one of them pan out. We kind of know Teddy isn't, but I do believe in Sam Darnold. I do think he needed a chance to prove himself in this Panthers team can do it for him. He's going to a division he can, I don't want to say compete with. He's not going to win that division. They're not going to take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but New Orleans Saints, who lost to Drew Brees and the Atlanta Falcons, who are struggling to find themselves. We could see this Panthers team fight for second in the NFC South. That's not a huge accomplishment, but more success than Sam Darnold's ever had in New York. New York. I'm rooting for the guy. I hope this jump starts his career. And like I said, for a second, fourth, and sixth round pick, Panthers did not lose much. A lot can't go wrong here. Still have number eight overall to explore any option they want. Trading back and acquiring draft capital kind of make up for the trade. Or, like I said, I doubt they'll go three quarterbacks in the same depth chart and same room. But who's to say if a Justin Fields or Trey Lance falls and they believe in that type of talent and they fell a lot, they might not pass it up. And, I mean, I don't believe it will happen, but anything can happen. It's been a crazy quarterback offseason. It's been a crazy offseason in general. And a lot of NFL draft and rumors and craziness and carousel is happening around this offseason. I'm excited to see how it pans out. I'm excited to see Zach Wilson go to the Jets, Sam Darnold go to the Panthers. And I really, like I said, I hope it jumpstarts his career. I hope the Jets got their guy. I hope the Panthers got their guy. And who knows, when Tom Brady hangs it up in two, three years, maybe Sam Darnold could own that division. And Zach Wilson could be always competing for Josh Allen. A lot of crazy things are going to be happening. Comment down below your guys' thoughts overall. To me, like I said, Good move, good value from the Panthers and the Jets. Finally got that off their back. They don't have to worry about it anymore. This, another small question that I was thinking about is this kind of confirmed. We don't think Deshaun Watson's going to get traded before the draft. You know, the guys that might have traded for Deshaun were the Jets, Niners, Dolphins, Panthers, Broncos, and 
Panthers, they got their guy in Sam Darnold. Jets, they got Zach Wilson now. The Niners, they clearly trading up for rookie quarterback. Dolphins are invested in Tua, and yeah, the Broncos are still out there, but it does not look good for Deshaun, definitely based off this trade. This is just an extra factor adding to the extra problems he's got. So comment down below, guys, your thoughts overall. Thanks for watching. Two minute warning.